it's almost midnight. We are yeah. at the hotel. <laughs> Hi friends, Sparklet here again. Last night we came to the hotel quite late, however we had a very good rest and today we are ready to continue our trip. However, before we are starting it I would like to introduce you to a very interesting historic Hotel Santa Maria where we stayed last night. just stayed a night in the hotel which is called Historic Santa Maria yes. Hotel, Historic Santa Maria Inn and this is a hotel which really has its own ambience. It does. Located in the heart of Santa Maria between San Francisco and Los Angeles, this hotel has been a welcoming retreat for travelers exploring in Camino Real. The 965 kilometer Royal Road linking 21 Spanish missions in California. Created in 1917 uh, in English country style, it attracted many people including presidents and uh, actress Marlene Monroe, which yeah. everyone knows, and many others, and all the walls uh, with their portraits. And I like the, you know, the furniture, it's almost a museum. It is very nice furniture, yeah. it's very ambient uh, area, yeah. it's very nice. Paintings on the walls. As you walk through its halls, the walls are adorned with artwork depicting life during those times. And right behind me are portraits of the remarkable individuals who once graced these rooms. The Santa Maria Hotel boasts the comfort and elegance of the English countryside combined with the charm of bygone era. It's ideally located near the scenic Central Coast wine region. Here you will find a captivating blend of luxury, impeccable service and modern conveniences that both business and leisure travelers appreciate. Originally, Frank John McCoy built this hotel as a modest 24-room establishment. Over time, it has become a popular destination for celebrities and the general public, drowned by the world-famous vineyards. Throughout the years, the Santa Maria Hotel has hosted countless Hollywood stars, political figures, including Charlie Chaplin, Rudolph Valentino, Bing Crosby and President Hoover. There even a rumor that Marlene Monroe herself stayed here while filming a movie. Inside the hotel you will discover a treasure trove of history and artifacts. Enchanting photographs, paintings and other relics showcase the area's rich past. The corridors and public area transport you back to the bygone era with their art and decor creating a truly unique atmosphere. different piano instruments. I don't know if they work, but you can find in one corner, another corner, another one, and another one. It's kind of collection. Also. Well, it definitely looks like a historic organ type of a and as device. Say, that this hotel has also a ghost. Ghosts. ghosts. I love ghosts. Yes, but we, we didn't meet. We should go on ghost tourism. <laughs> My daughter was laughing that since we didn't meet anyone at night, we had to scare other people knocking at their doors. <laughs> Okay. Legend has is that the Santa Maria Hotel is home to several ghosts. One of them is said to be a sea captain, first sighted a few years after the hotel's construction in 1917. It is believed that he was killed by his mistress and his ghost continues to haunt the premises. Many have reported sightings and he seems most attached to room 210. A 
Another famous ghost associated with the hotel is the legendary actor Rudolf Valentino. His spirit is rumored to linger around room 221, where guests have experienced knocking on the door and even witnessed him lying on the bed. His presence left an indentation on the quilt. There is also a tale of a woman known as the Peppy, but not much is known about her. She was a spirited young woman with a penchant for cocaine. Other paranormal phenomena have been reported in the garden, rooms and basement. These include a piano playing on its own, mysterious footprints, doors opening and closing, sudden temperature changes, disembodied footsteps and even poltergeist activity. A very old telephone booth. And it works like an escalator? No, there just used to be a telephone here. Okay. And you would ding, clank it. Okay. To hold the Indians here, they have also fireplaces all the time. Oh, yes. And at the end of the hall, you can see it. Yes, there's a fireplace right over there in the background. I'm glad we stayed in this hotel and it's my second time here, just by case. It's I your mean, second time here? Yes, the first time I was here with my son and my daughter, uh, traveling around this area, and the second time now with you, Nick, my husband. Okay. I really like the ambience and somehow this hotel invites us because uh, we you open booking, come and try to find hotel and somehow you select this place. And here and it was. I'm happy we had a great rest. We didn't meet any ghosts. Yeah, and you didn't really realize this was the hotel you stayed in before when you no, booked it, did you? Not really. Just recognized it when coming in. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Hotel Santa Maria is located in a beautiful region. It's not only wine gardens, it's also agricultural land in the Pacific Ocean, which is not far from here. We will follow this road in my next film. Hey Lydia, who's your boyfriend there? Yo, I was sitting here at the waterfall and he touches me. <laughs> he caught me. He caught you with his, oh yeah, caught you with his hand there. Yes. Oh. What an ugly fella, you better come back to me. <laughs> so, we are leaving the hotel, we are leaving the hotel, yeah. Like and subscribe to my channel, watch my films and enjoy your life. Your Sparklet.